Hey everyone, today we're going to learn about multiplication of thirds. We said that we can multiply thirds. How do we do that? Let's see. Very simple. We have an example where it says root 3 times root 11. Root 3 times root 11. We simply multiply the 3 and the 11. 3 times 11 is 33. So our answer is root 33. It is that simple. We just multiply the numbers. Root 33 is the answer. Another example. Root 2 times root 7. Root 2 times root 7. Very easy. 2 times 7, root 14. Let's do some examples and understand it and show you how to set it up. These examples, we can actually follow the same rules. Root 6 times root 5. Root 6 times root 5, 6 times 5, root 30. Can we simplify? No, we can't. That's our answer. Root 30 is our final answer. This one here. 3 root 3 times 2 root 7. So we don't just have roots, we also have whole numbers as well. So what do we do? Simple. These multiply together and the roots multiply together. So, 3 times 2 is 6, and root 3 times root 7 is 21. So, 6 root 21. 3 times 2, 6, and 3 times 7, 21. 6 root 21. Can we simplify? No, we can't. It stays that way. What do we do next? We do the next one here. 3, it stays that way. The next one, 3 root 2 times 5 root 13. 3 root 2 times 5 root 13. We multiply these together and the roots together. 3 times 5, 15 root 2 times 13, 26. 15 root 26. Can we simplify? No, we can't. There are no two numbers here that multiply to get 26 and one of them is square roots. Remember, we always ask ourselves, can we simplify? No, we can't in this case. 5 root 5 times 2 root 15. What do we do? The roots times together and the numbers times together. 5 times 2 is 10 and root 5 times root 15 5 times 15, you can grab your calculator if you like, is 75. 10 root 75. Is that our final answer? We need to ask, can we simplify? Well, yes, in this case we can. Root 75 can be simplified. We can't leave our answer like that. We have to simplify, guys. Very important. So 10 stays outside. How do we simplify? Remember, we have to look for two numbers that multiply to get 75. One of them must square root. In this case here, 25 times 3. 25 times 3 makes 75. Which one square roots? The 25 square roots. It becomes a 5. So when it comes outside, we already have a 10, and we know there's an invisible times here. So the 5, when it comes outside, it becomes 5 times 10. So times the 5, times the square root 3. So I'm breaking it down for you here. The 25 square roots becomes a 5. 5 times 10, 50 root 3. That's our answer. 50 root 3 is our final answer. Make sure that we always ask, can we simplify? So we multiply the whole numbers. 5 times 2 is 10. Root 5 times root 15 is root 75. We can simplify here. 25 times 3 makes 75. The 25, it actually can square root. It becomes a 5. It comes out and times is the 10. 5 times 10 is 50. 50 root 3 is our final answer. Very important that you know how to simplify when you're working with these. Let's do two more examples. Okay, guys, our last two examples. You should be confident doing these with me. 6 root 3 
times 2 root 6. We multiply the numbers and we multiply the thirds. 6 times 2, 12, and 3 times 6, 18. So 12 root 18. Is that our final answer or can we simplify? We know root 18, yes it can be simplified. We have to think about our multiplication. We need to know our factors. What two numbers? What factors of 18 multiply together and one of them can square root? 12 and 18, two numbers, 9 times 2. 9 times 2. So we know the 9 can square root. 9 times 2 make 18. The 9 can square root. It comes out. So we have 12 outside. The 9 comes out and times becomes a 3 times the root 2. So the 9 comes out and becomes a 3. 12 times 3, 36 root 2. That's our final answer. 36 root 2. If you put in your calculator 6 root 3 times 2 root 6, you're going to get a long answer. It's exactly the same as 36 root 2. Try it and you'll see what I mean. Next one. 4 root 3 times 9 root 7. Once again, 4 times 9 and root 3 times root 7. 4 times 9, 36. And root 3 times root 7 is 21. 3 times 7 is 21. Our answer is 36 root 21. Can we simplify? We look carefully. We know 21. There are two, no two numbers that actually multiply and one of them square roots. So this is our final answer. 36 root 21 is the final answer. So now we know how to multiply thirds. We multiply the whole numbers if there are whole numbers and we multiply the thirds together. It's that simple.